Welcome to Rotation versus Revolution. We've been talking about Earth's rotation, and Earth actually moves in two ways. It moves by rotating and revolving. So we are going to look at rotation and revolution today to see what we can find out. All right, so we are getting everything we need to do this. I think this time we're going to need um, the sun. So I'm going to put that there. Oh, there it is. And we also are going to need the earth here in a little bit. But first, I'm going to pretend to be the earth while we focus on rotation. So when we are rotating, remember that means to spin. And if I were earth and I'm facing the sun right there, see how I face the sun? The side of earth that faces the sun has day. The side beat that's not facing the sun is having nighttime. So when Earth, or me even, when we spin around, the side that is facing the sun has day. The side that faces away from the sun has night. That's rotation. Rotation means to turn or spin. And so whatever side of the Earth faces the sun, it has daytime, and the side facing away has night. So as Earth spins or rotates on its axis once every 24 hours or one day, it is causing day and night. That's so important, I'm saying it again. Rotation causes day and night. One rotation lasts 24 hours or one day. Rotation is only one of Earth's movements. Remember, Earth moves in two ways. Earth's other movement is revolution. A revolution means to go around. Earth does just that. It goes around the sun. That's a revolution. A revolution means to go around. Other versions of revolution are revolve, revolving, revolves, revolved. They all mean the same thing. They mean to go around. Earth revolves around the sun. That and the axial tilt are what causes seasons here on Earth. But we don't need to know too much about that. The biggest thing you need to know about revolution is that it means to go around. The Earth goes around the sun. How long does it take Earth to revolve around the sun? Well, it takes one year or 365 and one fourth days. That's one revolution. When I think of revolution, I think of how it means to go around. It means the Earth is going around the sun, and that lasts one year. With these two movements on Earth, you have to remember that both are happening at the same time. Earth rotates on its axis once a day, and it revolves or goes around the sun, and that takes one year. All right, so there is Earth rotating and revolving at the same time. Ooh, how many times does Earth rotate in a year? All right, so remember, Earth takes 24 hours or one day to rotate, and to go around the sun, it takes a year or 365 and one fourth days. So 365 and one fourth times it rotates in a year. Here's a diagram to illustrate Earth's two movements. You can see that rotation there, that Earth spinning on its axis. That takes one day or 24 hours. And then you can also see that orbital path where the Earth is going around the sun. That's one revolution for a year. This diagram also shows us Earth's orbital path or the path it takes when it revolves around the sun. And we can see it's not a perfect circle, it's kind of an oval shape, and we call that elliptical. So Earth goes around the sun in elliptical or oval shape. We also know that the moon revolves or goes around the Earth. That movement takes 29 and a half days, or about a month. So when we think of rotate versus revolve, we can remember that rotating means to spin or turn 
like Earth does on its axis, and revolve means to go around, like how the Earth goes around the Sun. Both of these take different amounts of time. One rotation takes 24 hours or one day, and one revolution takes 365 one fourth days or one year. Earth's rotation causes day and night. Earth's revolution and its axial tilt actually causes seasons. Even though rotation and revolution are both of Earth's movements and they both look and sound a lot alike, they mean different things and they cause different things. It's important that we recognize the difference between the two. Can you tell? All right, that's all for me. Take care. Peace.